And we are recording. Hi. Hi. I'm here with my flatmate, Rosianna, today. Hello. And we're together because we are both filming our room tours, finally, after two years of living together here. And also previously, we lived together in two different flats. Uh, and then you moved to the US. I left, I abandoned you mm -hmm. uh, for three years. For three years, and now she's back, and then we've lived together again. And so we thought it'd be fun to do kind of a split room tour. Rosianna's done hers on her channel, and I'm doing one here, obviously. So it's been really fun to capture this um, and just put it in the archive and, and look at it later. I love looking back at old room tours and stuff. I just um, said that in my video. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, like half of it is obviously to share it with you, uh, but the other half is just because it's really fun to kind of keep a memory box that way. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So without a doubt, this will be the most familiar corner of my room to most of you, the bookshelf corner where I film most of my videos. Probably comes as no surprise that I spend most of my time in my room. This is where I relax, it's where I do most of my creative work. And for me it's like really important that it feels homey and cozy and it's always slightly more cluttered than I'd like it to be, but I feel like that's just gonna be the reality of my life. Because I am moving in a few weeks, I've actually started packing some things as well. In the past, I've been a bit more like white walls, a uh, little bit of wood accents, but I'm gravitating more towards some warmer colors now, some plants. I've been trying to figure out for ages what the style of my room could be described as. And I think we've landed on something like light academia meets cottage core. Light academia being museums, bookshelves, paper, turtlenecks, and cottage core being more on the side of dried flowers, drawings and postcards on the wall, and a lot more trinkets. So let's go with that for now. I love the view out of my windows. The previous flat was really loud outside and here all I can see is trees and grass and it is really quiet and we have these lovely pigeons, doves, this has been a debate between me and Rosianna, whatever they are, that sit in the trees and they're very cute. And also my room gets the sunlight in the evenings so seeing the sun come in at the end of the day um, has been really nice as well. I think now that I'm 31, I suddenly care about like what direction the house is facing. That was never a thing I concerned myself with. So this is my main bookshelf. My books are kind of in three places. There's one here, then there is the bookshelf that's like the little square Ikea one that has all my makeup on top of it. And then I have a shelf in the living room as well. And I promise I will attempt to film a bookshelf tour before I leave this flat. I never did it in my previous flat, so it's been about five years since I've done a bookshelf tour, but these are double stacked. <laughs> so filming a bookshelf tour basically means taking everything off the shelves. Then I also really like to stack lots of things on top of my bookshelves just because I haven't actually like mounted a picture frame onto the wall since I moved to London. So I kind of like to use layers where I stack them on top of my bookshelves as an easy way to get some decorations on the wall. Although I think in my next flat, I'll probably like bite the bullet and put up some actual frames. I hadn't had a desk for a very long time because my previous flat where I was for three and a half years didn't have enough space for a desk in my room. And then here I had a little gap. This room came with like a big chest of drawers that I couldn't really get rid of, but there was a little gap to the side where I could put a desk and I really loved this one. I like that it's quite small. I love the design. You can slot in like a laptop, hard drive, some notebooks underneath it. I have it covered in stuff most of the time which I shouldn't do because as soon as it's open, I sit at it. But yeah, I definitely have a habit of stacking things on top. I think a theme from my previous room tour that I filmed with my friend Marion was that I was pretty much killing all my plants. I'm doing so much better. I feel like I've learned a lot over the last two years. I'm even propagating a little bit. Very soon I am putting up a like plant tour, which just consists of me not knowing the names of any of the plants I have um, on my IGTV on Instagram at Books and Quills. Halfway through filming this, I somehow decided that it was finally time to macrame a plant hanger. I'd done some macrame in primary school before, but I really wanted to get back into it. So here she is. I'm pretty happy with it. Underneath my beds has always been stuffed with boxes. I have a lot of boxes that again I bought when I was like 13, 14 which have like pink roses on them and things like that which I personally would not buy now but they're still functional. Filled with 
stationery, postcards, memories, pictures, art supplies, things like that. I'm planning on filming a video where I kind of show all the fan art I used to make and this like random Harry Potter collection I have of like unopened stationery. But because I'm moving in a few weeks, I've been going through everything, just like sitting here for days with my bed covered in boxes, touching every single piece of paper and seeing if I still want to keep it. I think I used to spend a lot of my, especially teenage years, but also my 20s, buying postcards, pens, stationery, all very like cheap, small things, but it all really stacked up. And I think now I really take stock of what I have um, and only buy to replace, or if it's something that I don't already have and I really need. So that's been some personal growth, but a lot of the stuff, you know, is still here, unused. One of the fun crafty projects I've been doing during lockdown is making fun activity to-do lists uh, and drawing on them and kind of making this a thing to look forward to. So I can now cross filming room tour off the list. nightstands from Ikea that each have an individual knob that I found somewhere randomly just to like just to change them up a little bit. One of my nightstands has a cork board which I pin important things on and sometimes I just kind of pin up some postcards there. Again a bit more decoration on the walls and then my bedside table has a print by Maddie who I will link in the description. I bought this print off of her which is called The Lonely Blogger and I love it so much. I've had it in my room for a really long time. I have this picture frame with a portrait of myself and the story behind this is that it was a lovely Valentine's Day card that my boyfriend got for me at a market. He like showed an artist a picture and he drew me and then literally within a day of getting that card I lost it. I don't really lose stuff so I was really upset by it um, and then three years later as I was clearing out my gift bags that I saved to re-gift to people it was in there. So I decided the best option would be to frame it so I will never lose it again. Okay, so then going to the little alcove, is that the right word? I feel like that's the right word. In my room, the little hallway where I have the Ikea shelf. Um, I recently put my big Monstera there as well, which I repotted. It's growing so much and I'm very proud of it. My makeup and skincare collection is on there. It gets very cluttered. I also recently sorted through every single colored pencil and marker that I have you know, in the entirety of my room and sorted those out. So now I have these beautiful colored pencils, which I use as photography props as well. Also it means I can just grab and go and just draw whenever I want to. I feel like very often people do flat tours and there's lots of like different rooms to look at. And when it is a bedroom, it is just like, you know, these are the corners of my bedroom. It's my desk, it's my bed, it's my bookshelf. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed getting a little look behind the scenes. Definitely hoping to document the move, at least in part, as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to go and watch Rosianna's video. What can people uh, see in your video? Uh, so at youtube.com slash Rosianna, you can see a tour of this wonderful room. Yeah, we're in Rosianna's room we're right now. We're in every room right now. <laughs> um, but you can basically also see lots of videos about books. I recently interviewed Isabel Allende. There's a long conversation with that. I couldn't cut any of it. Um, and all sorts of other things too. And if you've ever seen pictures of Rosianna's shelves, which are above here, um, they're gorgeous. And I'm guessing you kind of run through all the stuff that's on there. Pretty detailed tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Doo Dewey! Dewey.